What's going on guys and welcome to our brand new satisfactory video where today I'm going to be checking out your guys' saves. Um, normally I'm checking out other content creators but I think it's time to show some credit to you guys uh, because we might find some hidden gems. So what I've done is I've asked my Discord community to submit their saves in the satisfactory section in my Discord and if you want to do the same go into the description below uh, and go in there throw your save in there but make sure your save is the same name as your discord name so i can give you credit so let's jump into the first one and just to clarify obviously all my opinions are my own i can give you some guidance uh, which you might use in some of these saves especially if you are the creator of this save uh, and first up we're going to be checking out king zerg who's got like a 1.8 megabyte save and that's the only thing i know about the saves which is the size because uh, obviously 1.8 megabyte it's not gonna be a large save where a 20 megabyte or a 2 gigabyte save, BL Andrew, uh, will, you know, be a little bit different. So let's see what they have done. So we can see that they are in the grasslands. They've got a very much of a starter setup here. Uh, obviously, we're going to come across a lot of new players, some experienced players. And just off the bat, I can kind of tell uh, he's newish. This is a 70 hour save, I believe. Uh, and we can see a little bit of startup. We've got biomass burners going, which are still being utilized. Uh, so I'm guessing no coal power just yet. Let's have a look at what power plant he is using. Uh, he's producing 2,775, where if all of his factories are turned on, it'd be 4,228. So he is sitting on the brink of power right now. Um, so I'm guessing there'll be machines turned off and on. So let's have a let's have a fly around here and let's just see what they've done. So they are they basically got a skeleton kind of building here. We can see the screws, the rods going, all this kind of good stuff. This might be very similar to what, how your saves look. Uh, and yes, you're going to see very, very, very different styles. And I guarantee you won't see any uh, builds that are new enough exact come, uh, to each other because that's the joys of satisfactory, right? It's your creativity and your journey through this game to either learn or just have fun. So we can see he's got power storage up, um, which I'm guessing he has got, he is using, which I think, is he using? They're not powered. Miners are all good. Hi, Bean. Hello. Um, he has started work on some kind of uh, structure here. I'm guessing he's gone for uh, straight um, machines and then going to build a factory on that and learn it that way. I think that's where most newish players do. They kind of build the factory and then build the stuff around it. What you'll find out is most experienced players do it at the same time. So they'll build a little bit of a factory and then design or design and then a little bit of factory. Um, and then they kind of work that in chunks. So obviously I'm going to be going through these pretty quick. I've got quite a few to go through, but also um, I'm going to be doing that for some other videos as well. Um, so yeah, we've got this whole highway he's kind of doing here, which has got a train line on it. So he has unlocked trains. This save hours is 70 hours in i'm guessing there's going to be a lot of unoptimized things right now i can already see some assemblers over there powered off but that could due to be the um the power he's starting to look into just getting some catwalks around here i kind of like doing this putting the catwalks like at close to the constructors like this yeah there's a little bit of clipping and all this but this can create some good ideas for like um power walkways or encasing this room okay so i've just followed the train line along and we can kind of see He's now built in the Blue Crater Lakes. Where, honestly, they have actually got a little bit more organization here. Like, this is a lot cleaner. Yeah, maybe the power cables are a little bit unclean and all that kind of stuff. But, like, using the pipes to go underneath the, the belts like this, well, the lifts like this, it's a clean idea. It, you know, there's no form of clipping or anything like this. Uh, using a simple manifold line. As you know, I love manifold lines. And, honestly, the only thing that's getting me in this area is just the power lines. That is it. That's that's the only thing, uh, but they could they could be temporary, for all we know, uh, from what they're kind of building. So we can see 900 megawatts of power being produced here. Uh, that's all going down, and it's got a buffer beforehand, and then that's being split off into uh, package fuel as well here, which is using a very simple setup I like to do when I first start out with my oil production, is making sure that the heavy oil residue is making the resin uh, as well as the byproducts and that resin is being made into plastic plastic goes into storage the plastic then gets split off as well but as a priority to make uh, canisters the canisters uh, go into a you know package fuel which then kind of do that so um it's kind of what i normally do when i go straight to you know tier five 
I think we're seeing very early doors of this save. And I do want um, the the owners of these saves to feel encouraged by what I go through here. But then also, um, I want to see these in the future. So I want to see them like 100 hours from now and just see the differences. And I can kind of compare them. Uh, so then, you know, the community can see your progression as a satisfactory player. The next save we're going to look at is Nerd64. He's got a 186 hour save and let's jump in here. Oh my God. Where do I start? Uh, um, this is very Let's Game It Out inspired. <laughs> there is a lot going on here. And honestly, I I, I don't know where to, uh, to start. Like, the blenders and manufacturers up here, but then what's the point of this being up here? Because I don't feel... I don't think they're using it as a fluid tower. I'm, I'm honestly I'm surprised they've used foundations for the train lines I'm surprised like they've got a sushi line here which is not a bad thing to do I use sushi lines and a sushi line is you know multiple items on belts right and then you split that off for your smart splitters or programmable splitters later on but in this case goes into this storage and then outputs somewhere along here in all of this chaos yeah, so I think we're done with this save. Because <laughs> my advice on this one, clean it up. But if you're having fun, leave it. So the, the next save we're going to check out is Corona Kiras. So this is a four megabyte save. And we've started in the desert. So let's kind of go out here and see what they've got going on. So we can see a little bit of organization. with. I, I, just, I, I have noticed... Even I used to do this. When I first started playing Satisfactories, people create these towers using the stackables and create massive walls of uh, these items. Uh, we can see some form of uh, for, uh, thingies here, uh, storages. So I want to see what's going on. There's a, Oh, we have a factory in the distance. And Kira. I'm guessing this is Kira. I'm guessing this is the offline. Hello. Hi. Okay, so the first thing I can see, we have one two three four modular factories which i'm guessing they just bring into a central location here to bring the items together uh well there's an, a fact well there's a fact i didn't even see that up there that looks pretty clean that looks like a new design they're kind of working on. i don't know if it's finished but it's got promise so i'm guessing that with these like spider legs that they're bringing from the factories they just got a hyper tube connected with all the items they're creating like i said to bring to a central location maybe just to build a mega factory in the future um, some semi-finished buildings. Um, there's obviously no form of roofs. That's the reason I said semi-finished. Um, is we can kind of see a little bit of belts going on here. Some weird belts. Um, so a nice little design shape on this one over here. We've got some refineries in here. Uh, we've got a train coming up in here as well. With using it on the ground. But they've used the beams as a form of support. Just to kind of lift it up here. Good little creativity right there i like it and that just comes up to the side of this building and then goes back down wait a minute they've actually put it over this they've put it over the archway that's kind of cool it's kind of cool different i've not seen that done in a while but this is kind of remind me of like the tesla truck building it's compact definitely compact and they have left walkways underneath i'm guessing just for them but there's no way of getting around here for your pioneer stuff but Everything's lifted off the ground. There's a lot of, like, maneuverability around here. Smelters, just making the copper. I'm guessing just making copper sheets and pure copper. They're making pure... Oh, just making copper sheets. The steam copper sheets, in fact. Um, where are they pulling the water in from? We've got cables going... I'm just going to rip this floor up. Okay, so that's got this under here. Where's the water coming from? Over here. Okay. So I've got their water setup. Okay, they're just simple water extractors down. Just pulling it in from the pond. On the oasis. Oh, we've just missed the train. I wanted to see it go over that archway. Then over in this building, we've got some heavy modular frames being made. Steel beams. I can't tell which is coming in and which is coming out. Right now, I can see the ore is just going in. And I think everything else is going out, to be honest. And then on this side, they've got the coal and sulfur coming in. As well as another hyper tube to get them to that miners, maybe. Or even further. Which, they might have a power plant down there. They have a radio tower. And they have got a power plant down here. A little bit different. It's clean. 
And they've got quite a bit of power being produced here. And then if we look over here, we can see some form of, I'm guessing, new structure. But they have been playing around with the pillars as well here. So for some, I don't know, from some decorational inspiration. Um, they've been playing around with the angles. Obviously, doing these, you can just use beams or you could use pillars, uh, pillars to create that kind of stuff. You can check all that in my tips and tricks video. But also, if you are interested, I do have a second YouTube channel where I post daily content. Like right, right now, as I've made this video releasing, we're playing the first God of War, uh, which is absolutely insane. So if you want to check that out or if you've played it and just want to watch the playthrough and just see my experience play through it, go and check it out. Uh, I highly recommend it. I do, it's daily videos. Who doesn't want bits daily videos? Fun times. So right here, we've got some aluminium being built. We've got some bauxite right here i'm guessing they're shipping the bauxite in they're bringing that over in yeah they're bringing it in more than likely from the titan forest and the swamp okay so they've actually got something over here as well in the desert canyon um which just to let you know now kira if you if you don't know this rock right here and this train line is going to get affected by update 8 so just to let you know i don't know if you know this but update 8 is going to affect that train line right there um, this should be fine. Uh, this big rock here is getting changed and there's a new big rock being added there. So maybe that tower is going to get changed. But there is a lot of trains up high here, which is different. And are they using path signals? Yeah, so they've actually got path signals here as well. So they've been playing around with that. And a building... To oh my god, what is that in the distance? It's a big boy fuel plant. And they're using buffers on the top to send probably the... Uh, f maybe the fuel up there or the turbo fuel whatever and then sending that all the way down to make sure there's no power issues by using you know power towers and dropping all the fuel down instead of sending it up bit by bit but this is a big building and then they've got some some form of design going on here so keep up the good work Kira and I want to see more of this in the future so make make sure you submit another one uh in the future I want to see where this power tower or this power plant uh well, goes. Right, so the next save we're going to check out is Zeros, which is a 6.5 megabyte save with 207 hours on the clock as of recording this. Uh, and I'm already in fly mode, so I'm guessing he was flying just before he saved. Uh, and we're in a building straight away, which is kind of neat Uh Personal storage boxes with just loads of different <laughs> Xeno zappers in each of them. Oh, that Xeno zapper's mine. What an absolute spoon. This is the inventory box size. That's a tip for you. Left hand side is the inventory, not this side. <laughs> See, but I make mistakes. All right. Um, oh, boy. Look at this. A little battery storage here. I feel like I'm about to get crowned. You know, like a throne sitting up there. Are there any dragons? Khaleesi about? But this is clean. This is loads of different power switches, which are uh, back to front. No name on them. Tower going through the ceiling there. And this is our way out over here. There's a big old truck. A little truck stop. Call there just for the trucks. I'm guessing this is his personal vehicles. And then we go outside and then we have our fight trees. Which we've got a pretty extensive train network here with fluid trains. You'll see people using fluid trains a lot. And this is the building we come out of right now, which is this. Very unique design. I like it. It's very futuristic. So obviously we're in the uh, grasslands we got a coal building set up over here. Like, I already know, like, Zero's a pretty decent builder anyway, because just from past building things I've seen him do. Um, so I'm expecting good things. And then we could just head down here. We can see, like, a temple and a big butt plug. <laughs> Ignore me, all right? Ignore me. Zero, I've got questions, my dude. But we got a big, massive temple looking building this is pretty extreme that's a lot of bloody belts in the center i'm getting distracted by a lot of things it's a lot of belts with pipes in there as well and that is moving and then if we come in here what is this building a lot of lights a lot of signs being used they've utilized the sign uh, trickery to create this kind of like chandelier kind of thing it's pretty cool and we've got refineries z2 i like this corridor very nice. This is clean. This is really clean. Zero. Good job, my dude. They've even used the uh, the cables as fences. 
And I'm not going to lie, I'm expecting a T-Rex to break through this in a minute. But it also makes it unique for this whole power, you know, section here. What's getting me, though, I don't know if he's used, cre used creative mode here. But for a 207-hour save, this is a lot to build. Especially when it comes to designing as well. I have a feeling Zero might be using creative mode here. Um, which is obviously you just don't need build items. And the only reason I'm saying that is just because the amount of belts that are down there, which will take absolutely forever to place, with especially all of them, um, and then just the, des the amount of design work with the creativity he's using, and then factory creation as well. They've even built a r little retro 80s kind of station down here with some sign, Blue Hog Gives You Wings. Lizard Doggo's eating all your berries, no problem. Buy the Mark 23. No, never buy that. Leave the doggos to eat your berries. And buy super breath now. <laughs> I like it. This is nice. I like... It, it is giving me a theme park vibe. I don't know why. Welcome to Copper Eyes. Oh. Hello. I've got to go and investigate this butt plug. I'm not going to lie. Even the design of that building in the future... Uh, but even that design of the building over there is pretty pretty neat like i really want to start using signs again but i go overboard on signs and you saw what happened last time right a lot of you guys couldn't even download my save like i'm getting a good solid what 150 fps on this save right now how do i get in the butt plug oh i'm getting down here there we go oh boy have i got it's like i walked into a bio lab is there any stairs to go up i don't think there's any stairs to go up i'm just gonna sneak my way up. oh my god Ugh. yeah this is crazy wait so there is a walkway where's that coming up from oh it's there <laughs> lol never mind this comes all the way up here right to the top that is very symmetrical very symmetrical the only thing that's throwing it off is this this belt here <laughs> this lift right here and i think you'll be able to see everything symmetrical all the way down there well zero amazing work my dude and there's a lot more of it as well i wish i could just explore every inch of this but if you want to check out these saves as well they are available for you guys to download uh in in the satisfactory save section as well so if you want to check them out and explore them further go and check them out and let me know and you know go into discord post your saves i'm going to do more of these videos in the future um so show some love for these creators in the comments below and uh check out my other content right here so thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you in another bloody video so as always keep smiling